Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, it's ringing bell. This is like not a review or recommendation. Oh fuck, it's a recommendation. But the thing is, people, there's this movie called Ringing Bell. I happened to saw it like about three days ago when me and my friend Mr. Falcon Punch 996 were just talking on Skype. Then I don't know where I real I go and check um discotheques list and it says Ringing Bell licensed in 2014. And then I was kind of wondering what's Ringing Bell about or or you know what is it? At first I was wondering if it was a Tezuka title. But then I find I did some quick research on my anime list and Wikipedia and nothing to do with Tezuka, but oh my god, this movie. This movie of 47 minutes, 47 minutes long, is freaking good. I mean, well, okay, there's the thing with me. I don't like saying things like if it's good, you just check it out automatically. No, the thing is, okay, as you can see by the picture here, it, you see a little sheep, right? Um, how can I put this? The plot of the story deals with, well, oh, okay. Here's the thing, when I was reading Wikipedia, this is what freaked me out about it. It's most notable by fans as... Uh, it is most notable by fans and critics as a G-rated children's film, which makes a sharp sudden turn into a dark and violent story. It is also recognized as one of the only Japanese shock films directed towards children. What even freaked me out even more... If you look at my anime list, one of the recommendations is Afro Samurai. Afro freaking Samurai. What the fuck? So I was kind of wondering. Then I kept checking Wikipedia again. I looked at reception. Rinkin Bell has received positive reviews from, from critics in Japan. It has been regarded as one of the most revolutionary anime of the 1970s, along with Galaxy Express 39 and he Heidi, Girl of the Alps. Though it's not well known outside of Japan, uh. Western critics such as Jim, Justin Savakis of Anime News Network praised the dark storyline and artwork and noted that it delivered a short, a sort of quick punch to the face of the innocent. There is almost nothing uplifting about Ringing Bell, yet it maintains its sense of adorable while simultaneously destroying our concepts of the beauty of nature. Also, one of the negative comments was that um, should not be viewed by young children as it could cause emotional trauma. And I... And <laughs> Me and fucking much were just freaking out, thinking about, like, how bad is this thing? Is it, like, some berserk and wolves and sheep's clothing or something? Or, like, what the fuck? And so, what we do is that afterwards we just, you know, we just end the call because we were so intrigued by this movie. So, on that same night, um, the next 47 minutes I spent watching this movie and it, it is a revenge story. Believe it or not, it's a sheep that's on a revenge story because, well, if you see Land Before Time, then you kind of know what happens there. It, like... Basically, he's on a revenge story. This little sheep is hunting down a wolf. And, oh, and like, I'm not going to lie to this. Like, the first 10 minutes is all about Disney-ish kind of happy-go-lucky things. And then out of nowhere, shit keeps getting darker and darker by the minute. There's actually a lot of songs actually played in this. So it also gives it more of a Disney feel. But but oh, but you, will not, you have to watch this movie because it's such a good... Revenge story, but honestly, it wraps up everything so nicely that in 47 minutes, there was a lot of character writing. There's a lot of good moments. I mean, there's definitely some teary-eyed moments you can find throughout the freaking film. And in just 47 minutes, which that's what I find so inspiring. It's so short, but so good. And usually with movies, one of my nitpicks that I have is that they don't ex give enough time for the characters or they don't express things or what their moral messages are trying to do. It kind of suffers a bit. But here... In forty, in a budget of forty-seven minutes, they managed to accomplish well. Maybe like forty-four if I take out the credits and the opening credits. So, yeah, and like within forty minutes, they made, manages to make such a great story. It's definitely a tragic one, but it's one you can't miss. It's one you have to see. It, it, it's like I said, it's forty-seven minutes, G-rated film, dark storyline. Oh my God, what a twist at the end! The ending has a fucking twist. It's like, what a twist. So, yeah, I would say, people, it's on YouTube. I have links in the description. You need to watch this movie. It's it's worth your time. It's worth your time for 47 minutes, man. It's, although I will admit, the movie's from 1978, but that's the thing with movies from old... Well, it is a little off topic, but you realize that in American cartoons, their animations like backwards compared to Japan. Our animation started off at high quality, and then it kept dropping as the years went by. In Japan, it went the other way around, but... At this point in time, the animation for a movie is still great up to today's standards, for the most part.
So yeah, I'm the Anime Hero. I view anime so you can enjoy it. And Disco Tech is going to release this movie sometime in 2014 on the DVD and remaster quality. Not sure when, but 2014. <laughs>